Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This stage in the Netherlands, with its featureless terrain, seems destined for sprinters. But beware. The wind could be a spoiler and create gaps when the peloton hugs the coast at the end of the day. All right, so I'm just going to follow this guy and see what results I get. Okay, guys. The overall standing shouldn't be a worry today. But watch out. It could be nervy. Okay, Stay so well positioned at the end. And don't be so ashamed to lose everything in the first week. Oh, but they're following me. So that's a problem. Things are lining up at the head of the peloton. This is the sixth time that the Tour de France starts in the Netherlands. After Amsterdam in 1954, Scheveningen in 1973, Leiden in 1978, Hertogenbosch Bosch in 1996, and Rotterdam in 2010. The peloton has caught up. There's no more escapees. Things are lightening up at the head of the peloton. Right on P9 or dust yeah. Oh crap. So the whole army of riders the behind me. When the tempo of the race picks up, the rest of the time use the small gear ratio so as not to strain yourself. Alright, I'll follow you, my friend. Was the peloton twice. has just joined up with a breakaway. And now I will gladly take my lead back. And I will conserve energy. There will only be points for the green jersey today. They will be given out at the finish and at the intermediate sprint, located on the halfway. Okay. He's trying to escape. The peloton has caught up. Oh, crap. All right, I'm going to slow down by a lot. Really can He's trying my... to escape. Okay, looks like that dude's gonna win. But who knows? He's just wasting his energy. Attack at the head of the peloton. I hear you loud and clear. I'll take it easy and sit on the wheel in front. The riders are now out of Utrecht. They will be able to evaluate the influence of the wind and the risk of borders as of now, since the stage imposes very few changes of direction. Come, John Chris. All right, I'm just gonna hold square here. Attack at the head of the peloton. Come, John Tom. Oh, looks like it all geared for me. And someone's gonna take my place. I need P18. There are riders in trouble behind. They should be able to catch up if the tempo drops. Attack at the head of the peloton. Outgate 
Jens! Auf geht's, Jens! Komm schon, Jens! Komm schon, Peter! This dude is P-59, so that's a problem. Alright, I'm gonna have you push soon. Three, two, one. Change of leader in the overall youth standings. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I will wait for a spot to open up. The peloton is riding we'll hard. Stay well placed. Okay, there we go. This dude's passing everyone. Attack at the head of the peloton. Okay, okay, I'll get you. Are accelerating. He's no doubt asked them to reel in the counter attack to avoid too big a breakaway. Looks like everyone's pushing, so I'm gonna push with them. A teammate is beginning to lose touch. Oh no, we don't want that. Alright. Alright, let's see who is. Exactly what is going on. It doesn't seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced. The time gap between the peloton and the breakaway is decreasing. There's a good few people at the front of the race. That must be why he's pushing his team. The lead group is too large to work well together. It may explode into several pieces. Time gap with the head of the race is stable. Oh, it looks like I've stable anything or everything. Alright, let's overtake some people. So, let's stay like this. Virtually, he takes the lead of the overall standing. Alright, uh, looks like the breakaway is widening the gap, but there's nobody who's a threat to the overall standing. Alright, right now we need to conserve energy, the four of our boys are in first, or near first. He can ride all day long on the flat, it would be hard to say that he's in his element on short climbs or sprints. Alright team, just stick together. Yeah, but that's what I'm going to try and do, just stick together. A good ruler, he doesn't really have a strong point that would scare opponents. Let's 
sitting P13. His best chance of victory is to try a break away from far out. Mm, I, I have to disagree with you. Alright, so how do you get energy back? Yeah, I don't think I'm conserving energy. Let's just follow this racing line. I think we're getting some energy back, so that's good. Eventually, I think I can push. As I lead this army of riders, sitting in P5. Okay, there are four riders ahead. I s think I see one of them in the very distance. The gap is increasing. We don't need to ride for now. There's nobody dangerous for us in the breakaway. Alright, now you stay put, buddy. Constantly try to shelter from the wind so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. Right. On me, on me, on me. Right, I'm on an amateur, so. Yeah. I think I'm pretty good at this. The time difference between the peloton and the breakaway is steady. I think I'll break away at the midway point. He's the best placed on the overall standings in the breakaway. The breakaway is losing ground. Right, I think we should. How is he keeping up with us? Come 
The front runners are 10 kilometers from the first intermediate sprint. They'll share the points towards the green jersey. The first scores 20 points and the second scores 17 points. Come from Vincenzo. Off kids, Vincenzo. For some years now, Sepp van Marke is a serious candidate for victory when the cobbled classics come around as evidenced by his second place in Paris-Roubaix in 2013 and third place in the Tour of Flanders in 2014. The head of the race is five kilometers from the intermediate sprint. The first ten to pass the intermediate sprint score points towards the green jersey. His teammates are accelerating. They're no doubt readying the intermediate sprint. Is one and a half minutes lead on the peloton. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. Riders are now entering the feed zone, and we'll be able to pick up something to eat. The gap is increasing. We 
don't need to ride for now. There's nobody dangerous for us in the breakaway. His teammates have positioned themselves at the head of the pallet. They will no doubt manage the gap so as to finish in a sprint. the fastest sprinter in the leading group. The breakaway is losing ground. Teammates have positioned themselves at the head of the pallet. They will no doubt manage the gap so as to finish in a sprint.
offensive on. Okay, but give me time to move up a bit. I'm not well placed. He's the fastest sprinter in the leading group. guys. The peloton should be there for the stage win. He's got his team riding to set up a sprint finish. This is not the time to hang around at the back of the peloton. Race will now follow the coast and take wide roads exposed to wind. The breakaway is holding off the peloton, but it's going to be difficult. to set up a sprint finish. This is not the time to hang around at the back of the peloton.
fastest sprinter in the leading group. It's not sure that he'll be there for the sprint. The head of the race is one and a half minutes lead on the peloton. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. marking the last 20 kilometers is in sight. We seem to be heading straight towards a mass sprint finish. guys. The peloton should be there for the stage win. Last time checked with a breakaway. One minute. to go before the conclusion of this first stage. The yellow jersey was in danger, but he's once again leading the overall standings. Come on, 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 come on,
30 seconds lead for the head of the race. Towards the finish in Zealand is very wide and practically straight. It will favour the efforts of the sprinters' teams. Watch out! That is trying to catch up the sprinters. Change of leader in the overall youth standing. Bunched peloton. Only three kilometres left. The stage wing should be played out between the breakaway riders. Come on. 